A shortage of COVID-19 vaccines for young children have parents scrambling to try to find an available appointment. And as respiratory virus cases increase throughout the state, parents say they're concerned their children could get sick. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is in Seattle with more from health officials on this demand for vaccines. In King County, there's an uptick in emergency room visits of people diagnosed with the flu and RSV. The health department says COVID transmission is low, but they are closely monitoring a possible rise in cases after Thanksgiving. And parents say that risk is concerning since the most vulnerable population is struggling to find a COVID vaccine. Melissa Pelto has made a list and checked it twice to give her children the best holiday season, including a picture with Santa. Except one thing on that list is still incomplete. So we couldn't find a booster um, for our one year old really anywhere in Seattle. She says for weeks she's been trying to find an available COVID-19 vaccine appointment for her baby girl. We actually had an appointment for today um, and then due to supply shortage, our appointment was canceled. So we'd gone, um, I called Seattle Children's and just sort of said like, you know, where can parents find vaccines right now? And he said it's a real, it's a real problem for both COVID boosters and for RSV vaccines. Since the distribution of the latest COVID-19 booster in September, Public Health Seattle and King County says parents with children ages two years and younger are struggling to find available shots. So I know it's really frustrating for families looking for a vaccine, especially when their primary care provider or pediatric office doesn't have it. Um, so we're really just encouraging them to be persistent. There are about 300 providers enrolled in the County Health Department's childhood vaccine program. Even with so many options to choose from, health officials say there's a reason for the vaccine shortage. What we found is that only about two thirds of those clinics in King County have ordered pediatric COVID vaccine. And so at Public Health, what we're doing is reaching out to those clinics who have not yet ordered to remind them of their obligation to, <laughs> to supply a COVID vaccine and to order it and to provide them with technical assistance and support for ordering COVID vaccine for pediatric populations. Seattle Children's Hospital is one of the providers enrolled in the county's program. Though the hospital says it has not experienced a vaccine vaccine shortage. Officials say this fall, our policy at the hospital has been that we offer COVID-19 vaccines to our patients staying in the hospital or coming for a clinic visit, but we do not offer standalone appointments for COVID-19 vaccines. To supplement the gaps accessing vaccines, the county and state are offering more community clinics. In terms of which brand will be available by time of appointment, Washington State Department of Health is following guidance from the CDC. Uh, the recommendations are that they stay with the same brand of COVID-19 vaccine, but if they are at a provider's office or at an appointment and that brand is not available, they can be vaccinated with a different brand. So, so that is allowable per CDC guidance and hopefully helps to reduce some barriers for families. It's a barrier parents like Pelto have been dealing with for weeks, but says if it comes down to it, she'll travel to check off her list. Because as a working parent, you only have so many hours in the day to get stuff done, but with the holidays approaching and just the risk of travel, um, if it comes down to it, I would I would go outside of Seattle. King County is offering free vaccine clinics in Kent and Snoqualmie Valley for people ages six months and older. The DOH is also offering a mobile caravan that travels the state, offering those same vaccines for babies or anyone who needs it. Reporting in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.